OK, let's assume we want to do something a little bit more clever than just ignore errors or carry on from where we left off. If we use the error trap resume with label file, we'll find that it has the same function. It's working this cube on a range. So if I select the range A1, A13, and I do the keyboard shortcut that we've assigned, which is Control, Shift, and Y, quite happily carries out the cube root for the cells that it can. Those that it can't, i.e. this one here with guy and this one with minus three, it just skips over them. Where we can make things a little bit clever is by amending the routine to actually ask us when it gets to an error. So at this point here, when it hits guy, we could say, do you want to continue? And then we say yes or no. And if you say yes, it continues down the list until it obviously hits another error. Or we say no, it stops at this point, And therefore it doesn't work the cube out for the rest of the selection. So we've already done it on that range there. We want to do it on this range here. But before we do that, we're going to amend the routine. So let's go into the Visual Basic. There was our cube root sub procedure. And there's our little trap that actually isn't a trap. It just says, when there's an error, resume next. So effectively carry on. So we're not going to allow it to resume next. We're going to say on error, go to cube. And then down here, first thing we need an exit sub there that we don't fall into the error trap. And then cube, colon, tells the VBA that that's a label. And then we're going to ask a question. So let's declare a variable z as integer, which is going to store the result of the question. So z equals msg box. This is the function msg box. So the first thing it requires is the question that we are going to ask people. So the piece of text. So do you want to continue past this error? Question mark. Close the speech marks, comma. Now what kind of buttons would I like? Well, I'd like yes, no buttons because they're the choices we're going to give them. And I'm going to use the plus to actually add in a little graphic critical. And then we'll add a title, which says errors, exclamation mark. And that will do us for the display purposes of our MSG box. We then need to find out if they clicked yes or no. If Z equals VB yes, then we're going to resume the point where there was a label called restart code. And all I need to do is then tell it where that restart code is. Well, that's going to be here inside the loop. The restart code colon, so the VBA knows that's a label. So in our loop, if we hit an error, it'll jump to here. We're then asked if you want to continue. If they say yes, then it'll go back to the restart, which is the point just before it does the next. So effectively missing out the error and then carrying on through the loop of everything in that selection. If they say no, then nothing happens we come out of the subroutine. So we don't need to put an extra bit in. I mean, you might be tempted to put another question. Are you really, really sure? And get them to answer that as well. So here, instead of doing resume next, we're making it jump to a label. In the label, we've been a little bit cleverer than we have been previously. And that we're now asking a yes, no question. If the result of that yes, no question is yes, we're actually resuming, so we're picking up in the code at the point here. So we're using two labels. One label that holds the error code information, and one label which is effectively our restart point. Obviously, the test is whether it works. So we highlight this range, Control Shift Y. Do you want to continue past this error? Now you can see that it's done the cube root of those cells. It's then hit guy and come across an error. It's not carried on down the list, it's asking us. There's our VB critical symbol, there's our message, there's our title, and our yes no boxes. If I were to say no, then we would not continue down this list. Let's try with the next list. Control Shift Y. So again, you can see the same result. It's done the cube until it hits guy. This time I'm going to say yes. And you'll see it continues down the list, then hits another problem with the minus three. Do you want to continue past this point? Yes. And then it cube roots the rest of the range. So that's just adding that little bit of extra in, allowing us to not just skip past errors, but handle them. You know, we're asking, do you want to continue or not continue? Which you may want to do within your error trapping.